Raina was a 66-year-old previously healthy woman. She was admitted with two weeks of altered mental status. She had become increasingly confused, forgetful, and had visual hallucinations. Raina's sister said the patient reported seeing deceased relatives and even elephants. On examination, Raina was oriented to person and place, but had poor attention. Motor and sensory exams were normal, reflexes were symmetric, but included a positive grasp reflex. When she walked, she listed to the right and tended to fall backwards. Over the next two weeks, her neurological status declined rapidly. She became anxious, fearful, and almost mute. She started easily to voice and touch, had limb rigidity, often appeared to be shivering, and remained bedbound. She could only eat food if she, it was placed in her mouth. While awaiting laboratory studies, the patient received a seven-day course of high-dose steroids uh, for possible paraneoplastic encephalitis. There was no improvement. Routine CBC, chemistry, panel, liver test, B12, and TSH were normal. Urine drug screen and HIV were negative. Lumbar puncture had less than 1,000 red cells, no white cells, glucose 8,5, and protein 1S. CSF VDRL was negative. How will you further move towards the right diagnosis? What suitable laboratory tests will you perform to confirm the right diagnosis? What disease Ryana is suffering from and how will you treat Ryana? It'll be easier to answer these questions when you have a thorough understanding of prion diseases. Scaria.com bringing a complete lecture of more than 40 minutes on prion diseases, along with short clips for quick learning. You can watch these videos on Scaria.com to solve this case study. Simply go to Scaria.com, subscribe, and get a free trial of two days.